So do you have this really weird hot skin right underneath your foot, kind of like in this position, or maybe in this kind of position, or even around this position there? So if you do, that is more likely what we call a corn. What is it? Stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, my name is Jackie. I'm a podiatrist at Gucci Feet Podiatry here. If you're interested in more about foot corns or you want to watch me take them out, um, definitely feel free to subscribe and watch all my videos to support this channel and to grow this channel to raise awareness of foot corns. Alright, all right, so what is a foot corn? I have my trusty foot model here to help me out demonstrate what it is and everything, so don't worry. Questions about corns, let me know in the comments below and I'll answer you as much as possible or I can make a video about it. So a foot cone is actually a hardened skin layer that's formed on top of pressure and friction on a certain part of the skin. Now this doesn't have to be on the foot, it's most commonly on the foot because that's where all the pressure is, that's where you stand on, um, maybe tight shoes and uh, maybe it's sporting activities, you're always on your feet. Common places of getting a foot cone is often at the heel, in the pinky toe, right at the balls of your feet there even on top of your toes there. Very common places to get it, and there's much more I haven't talked about yet. It's like a yellowy, tough and rough, kind of um, hard skin lump there. But also remember that there's a core right in the center at the focal point of the lump of hard skin, and that's the main thing that causes the pain. That's where people feel the stone of the corn there, and that's the part that needs to be taken out. If it doesn't get taken out, it's pretty much still there. Majority population gets it tend to be more towards after 40 years old. It feels like there's a stone underneath your foot there on the side of your toes, uh, wherever it is, and often it's not very comfortable when you walk. Remember what I said it's caused by friction and pressure? Now that's really important because as our body is under that friction and pressure, what happens is that our body is actually responding by building hard skin to protect itself. It's the natural way that the body develops to protect the skin from being penetrated. Now often, um, calluses help you out, so if you play guitar or things with your hands a lot, you develop calluses, but when it's too much and very concentrated on this little spot there, that's when it causes problems and that's when a corny forms and rather than a what we call callus. It feels uncomfortable, you walk funny, you walk differently and then that's when other problems start to come along. Now probably majority of you don't have diabetes or things like that but people who actually do have diabetes oftentimes it leads to other complications and then that's when problems start to come up and then injuries, you have um, infections, uh, maybe a wound or maybe you're, you're uneven pressured on your feet, many things like that. Some people require something called orthotics to help give that support around the arches and everything. And how does that work? Um, basically orthotics and um, just changes in lifestyle they all alter these two principles here, the pressure and the friction induced there. So for example, for orthotics there, if I um, say one of the benefits is that it uses the whole surface area of your foot. Imagine this whole uh, foot right here, you're standing on your shoe, there's a huge gap around here. And in fact, you can probably see that the pressure has been put right around these areas and at the heel here, kind of like a tripod right here. And the most important thing is that if these three are being pressured, then the pressure increase around here, that's when, okay, that's where the corns are likely to appear. Now, Fodix uses a whole surface area foot, uses a whole foot there, it spreads that kind of pressure all around the foot. So it's a reducing impact. Now, if it reduces the impact, it's changed, so like the pressure is now reduced. Say, if you push it hard enough, even orthotics there, with, even with orthotics, I don't think it will help out as much, so wearing orthotics doesn't necessarily help with corns. 
but it also requires you to have a change in lifestyle as well. that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's a little bit short but hopefully that you guys enjoy the content of my new content of uh, corns and things like that and more education to the public so that people can understand and be aware of them the thing is the more you know how to deal with a situation the easier it is for you to get around it so it's nice to raise awareness of it and that people will know what to do and how to help themselves so they don't have to be, have to be in pain anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want more definitely check out this channel okay have a nice day stay good